In today's Social Entrepreneur segment, Shining City co-host Tracy Palangin will take you to meet an extraordinary young inventor at MIT whose vision extends beyond Cambridge to creatively meeting the needs of the disabled in rural areas around the world. Tell us about this chair and what uh, made you conceive of this idea. Yeah, the, the Leverage Freedom Chair is a chair we're designing specifically for use in developing countries. So uh, try to picture what the context is like in that type of environment. Um, if you want to go to school or have a job, you may have to travel many miles a day on rough dirt roads. And that's very different than in the context of like the U.S. where you have elevators, sidewalk ramps, accessible buses. And something that can go off-road and on multiple terrains but is also small enough to use in the home uh, is really needed in the developing world. So that's kind of what set off the development of this project and got me thinking about how, how could we make a device that can do all these things but still mechanically simple and repairable anywhere and I guess that, that idea just evolved into this chair. So tell us a little bit more about this chair. How does it actually work? So right now it's in its, its kind of like indoor mode. You know, it's right. like a regular wheelchair. You can wheel it around, you can do wheelies, you know, go around inside your office or your house. But if you want to go long distances, fast and efficiently, you take out these two levers, put them in the drivetrain, and then uh, you propel yourself by just pushing on the levers. The key to keeping the chair simple to use and versatile is the levers, which are essentially used to change gears. So to go through mud or sand, you might grab high on the lever. You can see I'm not moving very fast, yes. but I'm producing a lot of leverage and a lot of torque at the wheel. Right. But as if I want to go faster, all I need to do is slide my hands down, and you'll see I'm taking off. Yes. You know, my hands are still moving the same speed, but I'm going much faster. Tell me about the parts. Are these parts from a wheelchair manufacturer or a bicycle manufacturer? We wanted to make the chair manufacturable and repairable anywhere in the developing world. And the most ubiquitously available moving parts are bike parts. So you can go out to a village and if there's a guy who knows how to fix bicycles, he has those parts. So every single moving part on the wheelchair is made of those bicycle components. Um, because they're so cheap, we can produce the chair to sell for about $200, the same price as a, as a normal wheelchair made in the developing world, and you can repair the chair even out in the village. You can get those bike parts anywhere. How big is the market for this wheelchair? Um, in the developing world, there's about 20 million people who need a wheelchair but don't have one. And about 70% of those people live in rural areas mm. where if they want to get to school or a job, they might, be ha they might have to travel on like a dirt walking path to get there. And where are you in the intellectual property development phase? We have a, a provisional patent filed on this and we'll file the full patent, the full utility, this October. That's incredible. And you mentioned something about potentially giving the IP away because at the end of the day, social impact is your goal. Yes, um, we're structuring this such that we would give away the design to any developing country wheelchair manufacturer because we don't want to inhibit the distribution of the chair. Many of these organizations operate on a knife edge. Mm. And if we're withdrawing um, royalties from every chair, it might, it might be difficult for them to manufacture it. The reason we're getting the patent in the U.S. is so we could produce potentially a high-end chair that we could sell in the U.S. and Europe and use some of the proceeds of that chair to fund developing wheelchairs around the world. Would you like to give the chair a try? Sure, I'm not the most coordinated one, but I will give it a try. It's pretty easy. Okay. So I sit I right you, here. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to do the low gear. Yeah. Oh, 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 you turn. Ah, yeah. so both hands you go. And, if you, and then so if that'll you, be a little slower. This, ah, this is you, going through mud and yeah. thick, gooky soil. You and want to go is faster, grab lower. Yeah, and you can the, go uh, even lower. And then when you turn. Pull, pull your right arm. Ah, yeah, exactly. You got it. If you want torque. to turn left, pull your left arm back. Okay. And, oh, there you go. Okay. And then you can't go reverse, right? No. Can you reverse? Uh, you'd ride it like a bicycle, just mm. always going forward outdoors. And then if you, you want to go, use the, uh, hand yeah. If you want to go in reverse, just take these off. It's it's now a normal wheelchair. <laughs> 